Welcome back. In this section, I'm going to be doing some maintenance on the clock slash frequency counter section, which is this part here, which is enclosed in the RF protection cage. Uh, this top pops off. It's just uh, there's no screws holding it down, so that just pops off. So within here, um, there's uh, four screws I see in each corner here, which is uh, holding it down, I'm assuming. I have never taken this out before. And then we have a uh, four-pin connector here, and a large connector right there, and another one right there on the board. So those will be popped off. I've uh, read that uh, this is a dual-sided board, so you have to take some extra precautions when you're unsoldering. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, replacing, not replacing, but there's that uh, fix from the Cobra service department in regards to helping the frequency counter be more stable and uh, that was with the IC512 and a couple uh, resistors and capacitor fix. So there's the IC512 right there. Uh, so what I have to do is get on the other side of this board and cut a trace and add a couple of components. Okay, the unit's flipped over and we're looking at the bottom side. And uh, here is those screws that I pointed out on the top side that uh, need to be replaced. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's grab a screwdriver here. Alright, back to the top side, those screws are out, and uh, this whole section here is now free. I've already popped off the connectors, they come off very easily. These two larger ones here, you know, uh, you may want to work them off slowly. I, I usually don't like grabbing on the wires here, you know, they're not uh, the strongest. So I usually like to work on one side a little bit, pop it up do the same thing for the other but they come up fairly easy so three connectors so I just left those there and this guy oh there's four connectors I didn't see this other one right here he's still on there so I'm just gonna wiggle him off comes off very easily hasn't been touched in 30 years and uh, still seems like it was just made yesterday now it's free, I believe. We'll find out. There we go. So while I have this section out, what I'm going to be doing is replacing the uh, electrolytic capacitors. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and uh, one on the back side there as we saw earlier. And then the IC512 right here on the back side. So right there is the uh, IC512. I'm going to be cutting a trace here, adding in a couple of resistors and a capacitor as per service bulletin 1232. And of course, I'll find out about this uh, capacitor here. Uh, that'll be will have to be replaced. It's electrolytic. You can see here I've got the frequency counter clock section. I've got it sitting on a little vise, just so that it uh, 
frees up one of my hands for support. What I've just done is I've just replaced C527 and uh, that one was located right there. And this is a double-sided board. So, you know, you solder on the under, underside and also on the top side here, uh, you have to make sure that we've got a connection there as well too. And this particular capacitor did have some traces going up top, so I had to make sure I soldered up top here first. You can see I just moved in off the side there. I soldered a little bit there. And now if I rotate my unit here, we can take a look closer down here that here's my leads sticking out. I'll have to solder these as well too. Also, not on the list, and I haven't figured this out yet, is this I showed earlier that this capacitor here, I've already changed it. It's a 1 microfarad at 50 volt electrolytic. And uh, so that adds up the total of capacitors on this complete assembly here of being 9 electrolytics and uh, not 8. So that's something I have to chase down, but that's the one microfarad. So I've already changed him, and this one here I've got to solder up. So that's two down, seven to go. Also, what I'm going to be doing is a technical Bolton one two three two from Cobra, adding a couple capacitors, or a couple resistors, and a capacitor. You can search the internet and get the details on that or email me. I can send it off to you. So I've got that to do on this section here. I've got my components here, two resistors, capacitor. Uh, also, what I've done is I've replaced diode D528. Change that from a half watt zener to a one watt zener. And that's kind of in the same section here, for point out. As I said earlier, this particular camera I have, uh, it doesn't have zoom, so I know you can't see too well. But right there is the uh, zener that I've already replaced. And that one is a little difficult getting in there as well, too. So that's uh, what we've got going on here. Uh, i got a couple hours worth of work ahead of me. Alright, I've just replaced the frequency counter clock section. I put it back in the system. Plugged it all back in and we're going to see how things uh, operate. I did not implement the technical bulletin 1232. I wanted to see how things perform before I start hacking into the motherboard. I didn't want to cut any traces unless it was absolutely necessary. So I didn't implement that. We've just put in the capacitors and I'm going to see how things operate from there. I've got this thing on a power bar so I'm just going to flip it on now and see what results we got. Frequency nice and stable. My problem that I was ha having here before was down at this range I was getting the 92.200 value and then when I went up things were okay. So that's looking good. I'm gonna leave the machine on for a number of hours make sure that it stays stable there but if that's the case I am uh, I'm not gonna go any further with touching the frequency counter section uh, I'll be happy with just uh, replacing the uh, electrolytics.